Local 10's Kelly Butler is live at school board headquarters in Fort Lauderdale with the latest on this. Kelly. JC, good afternoon, and these are tough times at about two dozen Broward County schools. PE, art, music teachers, and librarians have been asked to take a 50% pay cut in exchange for working half the amount of hours. Today, school board members are here holding a budget workshop, but over at schools where programs could be slashed, there is a lot of concern coming from parents and teachers. This is a very grim situation. Don Hicks is the music teacher here at Sterling Elementary. Next school year, he may be teaching music only 20 hours a week, half the amount he currently teaches. At more than two dozen Broward County schools, librarians, music, PE, and art teachers have been given a tough ultimatum. Take a 50% cut in hours and pay, or go on to a surplus list and wait for an opening at another school. And I would think that they could find some other area down uh, town in, in, in administrative offices that could be cut before they do something that directly affects the kids like this. Superintendent James Notter says administration is not immune to the deep budget cuts. Uh, in today's workshop, you know, I will present the board with almost $7 million in reductions in administration at the central office. That's in addition to $9.7 million in reductions in administrators last year. Last week, 461 non-instructional positions were cut. This as Broward tries to manage a $130 million budget shortfall. Also, 800 to 1,000 teachers could lose their jobs. It's a grim situation all the way around. Here at Sterling Elementary, the thought of cutting back on the amount of art, PE, music, and even librarians has parents and PTO members extremely concerned. You know, the kids need as much exposure to stuff like that as they as they can get. These are children. That's their break time. And they need to learn how to express themselves through music and art and, and PE and all these different things. It's just, that's how we all grew up. And that's what these kids need. And that music teacher we spoke with said he is very fortunate. He does have a teaching certificate. So under this plan, he would teach music for 20 hours a week, and then he would teach in the classroom for another 20 hours a week. But he said some are not as lucky. He says some teachers could go from earning about $40,000 a year to earning $20,000 a year. Now, again, a budget workshop is taking place right now. And then on Thursday, school board members will discuss possibly laying off a 1000 and teachers and also the reductions to those programs we just told you about. JC? Kelly, there's talk that people are going to protest this, but at this point, are we at the end of the rope? Is this kind of do or die time pretty much? Well, there's still some time. This still has to be discussed on Thursday. We are not expecting a vote. And you're right, there will be some protests. In fact, tomorrow evening from 5 to 6 along University Drive in Plantation, a lot of teachers plan to be out there waving signs, asking that these programs not be slashed. So this is not a done deal. The superintendent also says that he is in the process of talking with union leaders to see if there is any wiggle room on their part. Okay. All right. Very helpful there. Thank you so much. Live for us, Kelly Butler.